Hello YouTube friends. We're continuing this project of the Philco 16B and I'm going to measure the voltage coming out of the, the power transformer to the rectifier tube. I took out the rectifier tube. Here it is. The Model 80 rectifier tube. Now the voltages I have listed you can see it here where it says plate volts, P to K, plate to cathode. That's what they're talking about for this 5Z3 rectifier tube. And they want 400 volts for that. And for the filament volts, they want 4.7 volts. Now, let's see what we get. I got it hooked up what I think is the filament part for the 5Z3 but it's actually the model the model 80 rectifier tube so I'm going to power it up I'm going to switch hands on the camera okay turn the variac on now I'll show you what what I got here, like I usually do, I got the isolation transformer plugged in. I got the Variac plugged into the isolation transformer. And I got the transformer plugged into the radio power cord, which is this old one. And it's okay. It's not shorted. It's an old cable, but it's not shorted. So, let me move that. It's frayed, but... I'm going to replace this cable, so don't worry about it. But it's not shorted now. I checked it out in here. It's okay. So here we go. I got it. Got the Variac low. I'm going to turn it on. And I'm going to monitor the power here when I turn it up. I'm going to listen careful to see if I hear anything weird go on. I'm cranking it up, cranking it up, okay it's pretty low, I'm going to put it on 200 volt, okay it's 4 volts, I'm going to turn it up to, well the, it must be the isolation transformer I hope, because it, it, okay it's going up again, this is an old transformer, Okay, I got it up to 100%. 4.9 volts. So I was supposed to get 4.7. This is 4.9. Let me wiggle it a little bit. Four point eight. I had a hundred percent. I already measured it, the output. So that's had a hundred and eighteen volts into the radio. I got four point nine volts at the rectifier tube, and they said four point seven. Well, that's what I got. I, I hope that's close enough. And I'm going to turn it turn it off. Yeah. Turn off the variac going to move it to where the, the high voltage is. And it should be here. Alright. Okay, there's the meter. Turn the Variac on. Already got 66 volts. I'm turning it up. Okay, that's about, whoop, it's too high on the scale. Let me turn it low again. This is not an auto-ranging meter. Let me turn it off. Then I'll put it on 600 volts. Okay, I'm going to turn it back on now. 
Okay, 76 volts. Okay, I got it up to 50% about. It's about 296. I'll turn it up to 100%. Okay, I got the Variac on 100%. Now, I had measured it out of here before, and it was, um, you know, hooked to the isolation transformer, and through here, the Variac, and coming out of here was uh, 118 volts at about, at about there, slightly over 100. So, measuring that, I mean, it's 370 volts about, AC volts that is, and it wanted to have 400 volts. So, I don't know, you know, it's, um, it's probably close enough. Now that's with a 5Z3 tube, and I looked on the information on here, on the service bulletin and it said on there that um, this radio uses the 80 rectifier and it has a different power transformer for the 80 rectifier so I'm guessing that 370 is good so I'm gonna do a little research on the on the 80 rectifier tube and see what power uh, it could take and I'm guessing that this takes some um, less power to run that maximum that you could run this at than the 5Z3 because the, the 5Z3 was a, a heavy duty rectifier developed by RCA and the Model 80 was like an older style tube so maybe it's less voltage so I'm guessing at this point that 370 is okay I don't hear anything weird going on and here's the massive power transformer. Got one hand, I'm gonna. It's cold. I don't see. It's cold. I don't see anything weird going on. So, this is good. This means I can proceed. I'm just gonna start proceeding on this puppy. And I'm gonna take it stage by stage and. If a transformer looks bad, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix it, and that, that's all there is to it, you know. And uh, I don't want to wimp out on this thing. I, I want to get it working. So uh, hopefully the oscillator coil's okay. That could be kind of tough if that's open. But I think I, you know, I have enough equipment here. I have an oscilloscope and stuff, and I may have to experiment if that coil's open, and uh, hopefully it's not and um, hopefully coils that are more critical hopefully they're good so I don't have to rewind those they, they could be difficult so this is still sitting here 369 370 volts I don't hear anything weird no sizzing power transformer it's cold which is good Okay, that's that's it there. So this might be all I'm doing today. I did a lot today, getting this out and all that. I'm a little tired today because the um, partly is because the humidity. The humidity in the garage here is is horrendous because it's been raining all week down here, and it's uh, it's ridiculous the uh, the humidity level. So. It's no sense of working on it too much, especially if you get tired, you know? So I may have to take it easy, cover this all up so cat won't get into it, ruin the dial or anything. And there's the voltage, so I'm going to turn it down and turn off the Rayac. Zero volts. And to be extra sure, I'm going to unplug the isolation transformer there and that's all there is so have a great day have a great day folks bye I can never get that out have a great day folks
Take it easy. Bye.